Cape Agulhas, Africa's southern tip, is flanked on one side by the Indian Ocean and the other by the Atlantic Ocean, a draw for tourists in its own right. But aside from its breathtaking scenery, the Agulhas Plain is home to over 9,000 species of fauna, flora, and wildlife, making it one of the world's most diverse habitats, exceeding even the Amazon basin. The lowland finbos vegetation, Afrikaans for lowland fine-leafed plants, is endemic to the Cape area, with over 100 species occurring only on the Agulhas Plain. But large portions of this land have been lost to either cultivation or to alien species that were brought here in the 1800s from Australia and Europe and choke off the indigenous fauna. The United Nations Development Program Global Environment Facility Unit is now working with the Southern Africa National Parks and the South African government on the Agulhas Biodiversity Initiative, otherwise known as ABI. United Nations Development Program resident representative Scholastica Silvan Kilmaro says that the people of the region are at the heart of this program. South Africa um, has a very wide range of flora and fauna um, that is, is, is it being threatened in terms of um, the, the global environmental um, challenges. So our job is to support the government and the people on the ground to actually conserve the environment while at the same time utilizing the resources for income generation. So it is very much linked to sustainable development. We can link that area also to... Because of the way the national parks are dispersed over large areas with no connection between them, a new approach was needed to make conservation viable in the area. Tertius Carinas, ABI project coordinator, explains why the layout of the land makes it important to use all of the land available. The biodiversity initiative is to link the three big core conservation areas we've got in Agalas Plain with each other through a series of corridors which is obviously on the landowner's land through what we call the living landscape where the landowner makes his living from. He farms there, but he also conserves there. We were fortunate, they've done it in the past, so we would want to just consolidate that conservation action off reserve and make this whole link of the whole area. Cooperation from the region's farmers is an important aspect of the project. Dirk owns approximately 2,000 hectares of land on the Agulhas Plain. He and 13 other farmers in the region have agreed to work with the ABI project and dedicate parts of their land to conservation. The region produces wines that are gaining international acclaim, and an area of the Agulhas Plain has now been named the Sauvignon Blanc Mile. Dirk says that conservation is very important to him personally, but he hopes to make it financially viable as well. We're working very closely with all the institutions and uh, especially not to damage the water system and the whole wetland area. And, and I think it can be positive out of a tourism view and to help with conservation. UNDP Jeff and its partners are also working on sustainable harvesting of the Finbos flowers. Because of the legacy of South African apartheid, about 60% of the region's inhabitants live in rural areas where unemployment is high and people have few educational opportunities. Flower harvesting in the region, practiced in a sustainable way, creates employment and empowers the population. UNDP Jeff hopes that bringing together the South African government, the parks authorities, and the region's population will help the Agulhas Plain both with conservation and development.